All right, let's take a look at the the Delta Jackpot Grade Three. Um, this is a race where, to all you Triple Crown fanatics up there, out there, this is basically the first prep. I mean, it's seven hundred fifty thousand, and the winner's in the Derby. Uh, he'll just have enough winners uh, earnings. It allows the trainer and owners to take a easy Kentucky Derby trail because they've got their earn graded earnings, and um, so this is a big race, really. Uh, and, and aside from that, it's for 750 G's. Um, okay, starting off, we've got a couple of horses that have shown some potential and uh, obviously have pretty good looking futures here. Start with the one Gallant Gent. Okay, this horse has got Kent Sormo coming in to ride him. Um, this is a Yankee gentleman. Maybe more of a, a turf pedigree, I don't know. Um, okay, this, this horse came from the juvenile turf, and prior to that was uh, a winner or third place on the Santa Anita Poly in a grade one. Looking at Lucky, looks real good. Looks like a tough horse, and, and Gallant Gent ran, ran third there against 11 horses. It was a good race. And aside from that, he's very consistent. So, I mean, he, he's going to be getting bet. For me, I'm not going to probably be playing this horse. Um, he did have a victory over dirt, conventional dirt, but that was at Fairplex, so it's a little hard to ascertain what he was running up against there. But DeSormo flew in for him. Uh, it could be for the money, but I think he's going to get bet down, and I'm going to go a different direction. But, you know, this is good where we're going to see. Um, okay, the two, uh-oh, Bango. I like this horse. Um... Maiden winner, first out by eight. Comes back into a stakes, 109. No match for the winner. Uh, and the winner is in this race. Then he comes Then he comes back and, and wins a wins by ten and a half lengths. Okay. And then his last race was at Churchill Downs in the Iroquois, which is a very important two-year-old race, fall race. I watched this race. This horse was wide on the turn, jumped to the inside, and was fighting all the way down the stretch, was beaten a length. And really, the horse that came by him came from the back of the pack, caught up to him, and kind of had the momentum and went by him. And uh oh, Bango never gave up. So at 4 to 1 in the morning line, I'm expecting this horse's price to go upwards. Um, so at 5 to 1 or better, he will be bet in the play spot. And that might be the play here. So um, I'll probably be betting my money on the two to place. Uh, okay, it brings us to Rule. This is a Windstar Farm bred horse, Roman Ruler, who, I mean, I think is going to be an outstanding sire. Everything is showing that so far with his first crop. Uh, John Velasquez flies in with Todd Pletcher. Look, they're looking to have a, a horse punch his ticket for the Derby. Interesting thing about this horse is, I think he's going to go off a big favorite. And his last race at Delta Downs, a two-year-old, he broke the track record. Now, um, that's going to show you something. The horse broke the track record. He's raced at Belmont, Saratoga. Um, he's competitive in all his races. And then his last race was, you know, if he's able to get an early lead, I mean, he, he's found his running style as a front runner. But I'll tell you something. He had a lot left in the tank coming home. And it was at a mile. I don't think a mile on the 16th is going to be a problem. Um, may expect him to regress a little bit after his uh, big performance last out. And if that's the case, a horse like Obango, a, a grinder, a, a tough horse, may be able to you know run the right, um, have the right racing luck and, and beat him at a good price. But I think Rule is for real. So um, it's hard to bet against Rule. But I'm going to try to do so. The four Grand Slam Andre. This horse was one to one in his last start when he ran um, second to uh, uh -oh Bango, or I'm sorry, Rule. And in that race, it looked like he was going to get passed up, and he fought for probably an eighth of a mile to keep second. And there was uh, probably a head that separated third, second, third, and fourth. So I thought he, I thought he showed some grit, some determination there. Um, he, he's an interesting horse to look at. You got Shane Sellers, 
Um, uh, good working horse. He's running against Stakes Company his last six outs. So um, he could be played. He he could he could come back from that last race and improve. But I don't think he's going to improve enough to beat Rule or uh, Obango. Uh, that brings us to the five litigation risk. Um, this is a horse who, uh, you know, I, I guess they're ha having some high hopes for him and putting him in a spot where maybe he can get lucky. I don't know that we've seen his best race. It's going to be tough to come from Maiden Company to win a race with this kind of competition, but he's got an excellent jockey, and uh, he's a closing argument who almost won the Kentucky Derby at 50 to 1. Um, but seven furlongs. I don't know. He's kind of a tough play, but if you like a Obango or a horse with a price, uh, there'd be no reason why not put him on the ticket behind him. And if those two come through, you're in the chips. Um, the six bench the judge. And this is a horse that ran fourth in that race. Was like I said, a half a length. He was out finished for second and third, but he ran a, a good race coming from mid pack. Um, he's got a new trainer. He's been fired a, a major bullet. Uh, one one out of 50 in his last workout but um i'm gonna go a different direction i i, I you know i, I just I, although if you like any of the horses that ran behind rule he's got to be on there because he was right there with him the next horse is the seven this is a horse that is coming out of a, a nice victory in, in a stakes race at hawthorne and um he, he he finished strong i watched that race as well with robbie alvarado and dale romans and, I mean, Dill Romans left Churchill down as a hot, hot trainer right now. Um, so this horse, I think, is also going to be on my ticket with a Obango. I'm going to box him in. And then the last one is uh, Oakmont. And this is another horse that fits into the uh, group with the Rule. You know, if you like the way Rule won that race, then uh, he's right there with the six and the four. Um but, you know, if you don't like those horses, I'd go the other direction if you don't like that race. You know, it was at the track. It was a track record, and I don't see why Rule can't do that again. So because of that, uh, I'm betting uh -oh Bango underneath, and uh, I'll probably play him on an exacta key. I'll, I'll go uh, three, eight, six, seven with the two, and the two... With the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, so it's a pretty cheap investment on a dollar bet. But um, I think the play is to have a big race out of Uh Oh Bango. Uh, rule looks tough to beat. Good luck and uh, enjoy the first Triple Crown prep of the year, or the last one of the year, however you want to look at it.